In this video, we're going to configure two FortiGates with a site-to-site -site VPN, and at the very end of the video, we're going to have a link to a troubleshooting video in case things don't work. Let's get right into it. Okay, so maybe take a quick screenshot of this page right here, just so you have an idea of what the topology looks like. Uh, the end goal here is we want 192.168.111 network to be able to communicate with the 192.168.112 network and vice versa. Okay, so let's get started on 40 gate number two. So first we access VPN IPsec tunnels, create new IPsec tunnel, and then we'll create custom. We'll just name it 240 gate one. Okay, so let's just put in the, the address of the remote peer, which is gonna be 40 gate one. It's accessible via our WAN one interface from this firewall's perspective. And then we'll just put in our pre-share key and then we can leave everything else default. We can always tweak as we need uh, in the future here. And then we'll create the local address. So this is gonna be the traffic that we are receiving on this firewall and then the remote subnet that's on the other side on firewall uh, on FortiGate 1. There we go. And we'll step back just one second here and we'll just take a, you know double check these phase 2 selectors. So, you know, the purpose of these phase 2 selectors is so that the FortiGate can say, okay, this is going to be the local and remote traffic that is allowed based on the IPsec selector. It's based on what's allowed and not allowed for IPsec. Now this doesn't actually modify any any additional routing by default. All this is again is, is a selector saying what can traverse over this IPsec interface named 240 gate one and what can be received. So the next step now would be to actually create the route that I was referring to. So we need to create a route to our destination subnet 111.0, and that's going to be via the following interface, 24081, which we just created a moment ago. Now the last item here is to create a couple firewall policies. So let's start by creating, let's just create a policy named VPN1. This policy is going to allow traffic that originates from the internal network on this firewall to be able to communicate to the remote subnet. So I've pre-created a couple address objects here. You can click create here to do that. Um, but you know, in this particular direction, this is how we would do it. So traffic from the internal network, which is the 112 network, and that's the, the source addresses, are allowed to communicate with traffic on the other side of the IPsec tunnel via 240 gate one, and this would be the remote destination. And we'll just say service all for now. We'll disable NAT because we don't need a source NAT to be applied and we'll enable that policy. Okay, so again, this would be for traffic that is sourced from the internal network on this firewall destined to the VPN interface. So we also need to consider the opposite direction. So a cool tool that we can use here is we can right click and we can say clone reverse and we'll automatically create the, the same policy but in the reverse direction. And all we have to do now is just enable that policy. So now we're up and running on this firewall. So the next step now will be to configure the other firewall with pretty much the exact same configuration, but in, in reverse. Uh, so we'll just speed through that quickly here. Okay, so now we are on FortiGate one. So now let's configure it. All right, so now taking a look at our topology, let's run a ping from 192.168.112.2 to 192.168.111.5. Okay, we can see it's successful in one direction. Now let's try the other direction. Perfect. All right, so nine times out of 10, it's not gonna work the very first time, uh, in which case we need to troubleshoot a bit, right? So, you know, click on the video link right here and let's go to the troubleshooting video. And um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching.